Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and those of you who don't know what the hell you're yet. Excuse me. Hop along PR here. We are back playing Mega Dimension Neptunia, and let's progress through some more dialogue, shall we? Hey, so what's the plan here? Is he even wary to save Seashot in this situation? Being wanted is scary. If anything, we have to make our move now on, on execution day. There's talk of it being a public execution, so be best aim for then. It'll be tricky, but if a lot of people are going to be there, we can at least count on blending in with the crowd, hidden in plain sight. You're amazing, Blonde! This level of planning is easy for an intelligent type CPU. Huh? 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 Hey. Hey, what are you doing? Let's hurry up and go already. Wait up! What's going on? It's getting noisy out there. Venezia, would you just go see what's happening? One moment! Something happened? Not sure, but if Seashaw's execution has started, we better get a move on. I hope everything's alright. Lady Blah, it's an emergency! The neighboring town has just been attacked by monsters. What? What's going on? According to the people who escaped, a large horde of delusionary monsters suddenly attacked. Did they completely destroy the city? They reportedly continued advancing. Is that true? What about the monsters? That's... they're headed straight here. No way, that's really bad. We do, blonde. We'll meet them head on. What? That's ridiculous. There are enough monsters to level an entire city. I'm not gonna defeat them all. I'll just buy time for everyone in the city to escape. It's still plenty dangerous. No, you absolutely can't. Be fine. Financia, do you take Ram and Ram and help the people escape the city? Lady Blonde. I'm stronger than you think I am. Financia, just so trust me. Lady Blonde, what are you doing this? You may not remember this, but this is my nation. Who will protect it if I don't? Blah, we'll come along as well. This is our nation too. I'll do my best too. You two support financier. Be difficult for her on her own. I can say the same about you, you know. I'll leave the city to you two. I'm going. Ah, Blah! Lady Blah. Let's go, Lady Rem and Rom. Let's evacuate the city. A big sis. So we must hurry and evacuate everyone in order to lessen Lady Blah's burden. Alright, if we do that fast enough, then she won't have to fight as much. Exactly, let's hurry. Bye, girls! Big sister's gonna take care of everything. Don't you worry. Not a bad sight to see, Sisha. And Celeb. I've come to give you a message. No intention of hearing your talk. Leave. I'm afraid that you'll be the one leaving, as it were. Sisha's been decided officially that your execution will be conducted today. See, you're so happy you're speechless. Preparations are progressing smoothly. I do hope you're looking forward to it. Sir Asnaleb, it's an emergency! What's wrong? Why are you so panicked? Apparently a large horde of delusionary monsters is coming this way. What? A swarm of delusionary monsters? Could it be my power? One city's already been destroyed. The horde re is reportedly headed here next. Why do you alert me sooner? Terribly sorry. The city was in chaos, so it took a while to get correct intel. Citizens are abandoning the city. The hunters are suffering a loss of morale, just knowing overwhelming numbers. I see. So the city will even abandon this place. I don't need your excuses. We must hurry up and escape the city. Wait, escape? Should the Lurie use all of its resources to face them head on? What are you saying? What is there in protecting the city? We can simply rebuild the city if it's destroyed. My life is highly valued and should be top priority far above this meager place. Don't dwaddle. Gather an escort group for me immediately. This is an order, soldiers. It's rotten. Just like the rest of the city and its residents. All of them. Say what you will. I'll leave you your execution to the monsters. Goodbye, Sisha. We'll probably never meet again. Everything should just be destroyed. The city, citizens, everything. Won't protect anything anymore. Don't want to save anything anymore. Yeah, okay. Do, 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 do. Wow, place to go. Things to do! Oh, happy day! Even I can tell this is too much for me. But I Giggity. can't afford to pull back now. I believe you can't afford to pull out now. I swear I'll stop them here. Yeah, you will, don't worry. Cuz you're still in your super gear. CPU chips. Game industry chocolate. Angel wings. Sounds like a good haul to me. 
Hailstorm. Hailstrom. Just me alone against this mini is gonna be damn tough after all. Oh, you've got Just this, girl. Financiers. I can hear people screaming. <laughs> How nice. Ah, oh, there she goes. She's gone into full There's psychotic no mode. When even the hunters who are supposed to protect them have all fled. They'll realize who's been helping them all this time. They're fading away, lying in a small pool of their own blood. See, I like the way you think. It's overflowing more and more. More delusionary monsters will be born. I don't care what happens. Lady Seisha. That voice. Nancy. Thank yep. goodness you're all right. The guards were gone, so I thought you might have been moved. Do you have business with me? I beg of you, Lady Seisha. Mm -hmm. Please. Um, she is. is currently fighting alone against the horde of monsters approaching the city. She is. Mm -hmm. Why is she doing something so useless? She could flee and save her life if she wants. No, that's not how she rolls. I won't help. Why do I have to fight in order to protect the city's inhabitants? What's wrong, Lady Seisha? To say such a thing. I have no well. intention of fighting for the people of this city. Everyone can fall prey to the monsters for all I care. It'll serve them right. Ram, all Rom, you want to step in? Who fought for them, protected each one of them. Why were you fighting until now, Lady Cisha? Weren't you fighting because you loved this beautiful nation of Louis? If you yeah. love Louis, then that must mean you love her cities and all of her people there. Now the people are bastards. Louis, but no matter how much I did, I have you properly conveyed your love. If you don't properly <laughs> voice your feelings, how can other people understand? Yeah. I think it's fine if your feelings of fighting for someone only goes one way. Even if it's a one-sided display at first, one day, they'll come to understand you soon. I truly believe it. Do you think there you go, kids. Don't give up. Understand? Yes, I'm sure. If I apologize, will everyone forgive me? If you properly apologize, they'll forgive you. I know it. This is Louis, yes. after all. It's a magical <laughs> fairy tale nation. A wonderful and relaxed place. Hmm. <laughs> there yeah, you go. You're right. She's Ronnie back to being her old before. self. What was I even troubled over? Her love for this nation is so much greater than mine. I can't even compare. Yeah. Do you want to like maybe explain how you guys you wiped the floor with the CPUs? The I'm still kind of you know interested in how that happened. All I did was end up hating and cursing the citizens over something so small. Ah, no, you're all right. Lady Cisha, will you help us? Of course. I won't let anyone destroy this city that I love. Well, then get out there and help Blood. Jackasses just keep on coming. But I have my own will to live. Yes, and your will to live and equipment is strong enough to fend off all these things. There you go. Oh, these guys got a little bit of help to their names. Good. I was getting mildly tired of one-shotting everything anyhow. Ah, no. Let's see, I'll just finish you off with my normal attacks, and then your friend will be wiped from the earth with my superior skills. Let's see. Panzer and Trombe. They're strong. Do, 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 do. They're storeroom. Hey, they gotcha. Waste of time. Really? That's it? Disappointed. There you go. How does it feel to vent some of that anger, Blonde? Probably pretty good. Damn it. Numbers. Oh, you'll be fine. At this rate, I might not make it. 
Now you just sound pathetic. Boys. Yep. Hey there, Blani. Hey there, Tits McGee. Did you get caught? The Nancy came to save me. Well, I'll tell you about all that later. Right now, we need Ram, to sort it out. They're taking they've been taken prisoner, haven't they? Oh. Who do you think I am? I'm the hunter. No. I'm one of the gold third. Seashot. Gotcha. No. Fuck. I'll face you with all Forgot to heal. Power. Ooh. Yeah, it is a fucking Capcom character. Fucking Mega Man reference. I love it. Ah, this game. And this will end it in style. See it? Oh, how convenient. It's already in the shape of a soccer ball. <laughs> See a thingy. Yes, yes, walking away from its foot. We know. Oh, and a monster hunter. Damn it. How many has it been now? I stopped counting about halfway. Like it's the end here. Thanks for everything, Blonnie. It's been real fun. What are you giving up for? We bought time. Now we can escape. You say that, even though you have no intention of running away from the start. <laughs> what? The hell are you saying? I knew from the start that, as a CPU, you'd never seriously use a strategy that would abandon a city. Of course. Yep. There's no way I'm gonna let any more of my cities be destroyed. <laughs> so, Ram, Ram. You want to come on for backup? Show them the inner strength of the golden pair. Don't use that stupid freaking name. What's this noise? I don't know. You're right. What is it? Footsteps? Is it Luis? Oh, there we go. What the hell's that? That is a small army. Yep. Come on. You're really hurt. I'll heal you right now. Wait, before you do that, what's going on? Oh, um, you hunters are right. hunting. I'm so glad. Is it that much of a shock? Financier. You're here too? Me and Rom and Financier and the woman from the guild brought back all of the hunters. Hooray! It's that the golden pair yep. was taking on the horde of monsters. We couldn't flee like pathetic wimps with two girls around here still fighting a good <laughs> fight. Whoa, we'll let you think us later. Right <laughs> now we have to clean this up. Come on, you guys. Don't let any of those monsters out alive. There we they go. Can't mess with our city. Yeah! Hmm. What do you think, Lady Sisha? The people of this nation are really something, aren't they? Yeah, yeah when they want to be. Right. I'm embarrassed myself that I ever hated them. I'm relieved to hear you say that. Huzzah! Blani, I was late in telling you this, but I'm sorry for keeping quiet about things. You don't have to apologize. Mm -hmm. You weren't trying to trick me, right? You don't God damn it. I should apologize for letting Asma Yeah. I'm real sorry. You don't have to apologize. Something tells me he's been fooling both of you, so. Asma's fault. Thanks. It helps to hear you actually say that. Let's be friends again, Blani. Yeah, you bet. It looks like you two have made up. Friendship yep. is a beautiful thing. <laughs> yeah, it'd be a waste for the golden pair to break up. Okay, I know we're friends now, and that's nice. Can you <laughs> change that stupid ass name already? Oh, jeez, here we go. That's fine, <laughs> isn't it? 
Whatever. Let's go. The golden pair has there one we go. more difficult job to do. Asna lab. Where are you? Okay, I was about to say, is it just two of those little guys? Am I gonna honestly massacre these as the next battle? And like that. Out. Hey, we're finished over here. Already? We are hunters. This much is a cinch. Well, let's take apart to you guys lowering the numbers somewhat. Well, we're the golden pair. We're invincible. I said that Nick. I give up. I'm tired. I want to read books and sleep. Let's return to the city. I must help with attending your wounds as well. Yeah, let's head back. Ram, Rod, lend me your shoulders, would you? It hurts to walk. Okay, leave it to us. We'll carry you everywhere. We'll carry you. Uh, what about me? I'll carry you, Blani. Let me give you a piggyback ride. What the hell are you talking about? It's my job to carry her back while cradling <laughs> Wait, what? You sure are popular, Blanny. Not into this at all, you stupid idiot. Come on, come on. I know what you're doing. Don't you dare touch me, you red bastards. Oh, Blanny, your rage is just beautiful. All right. Let's head back here and see what ship we can fuck up further. Asnalab, where are you? Asnalab, come out to play. We all work together to protect it. So yep. I guess it makes sense. Oh, why if it isn't the prisoner and the wanted criminal over there? Yep. Asnalab, where have you been hiding? In a hole. Why are you acting like that? You were the very first one to run away. Yep. I do not know what you're implying. Besides, yep. Who would believe words from a prisoner? <sighs> this jerk. Can we please? Hunters, capture these criminals. Ha. Well, why won't anyone capture them? No, they're, they're not. Responsible for tarnishing Louise fine name. That's not true. At the least, Lady Blonde and the others mm -hmm. love this city more than you, coward. What are you saying, financier? There's no existing evidence that I ran away. Well, then where I'll were you? Of that, then. Ha! You. Asnoleb said it didn't matter if this was destroyed or if the people left or not, as long as he was safe. What? No way. He ran away and left us all here to fend for ourselves? What kind of yeah. man is that? Coward. This man is an associate of those criminals. He's the one who arranged for Blonde to be placed on the wanted list. You scum. Sir Can we please tried to kick his ass? Blonde. Lady Seashell, all for his own group. Please. Those two were innocent. I can do it with a nice Simon, little bit of curb stomping. Who do you think I am? The god who created the license system. What? You must yep. have a pretty deep connection with the nation if you knew that I was the ruler of Louis. Putting aside whether you created the system or not, there's a high chance you know who did. You, Come you on. Be joking. Let's do it. Now, now, why don't you let us hear your side of the story? Mr. Asnaleb, there are things we'd like to. Yes. Ask. We'll have you come along. Quiet. This is ridiculous. Let go of me. You ordinary mm -hmm. people can't do anything without my guidance or management. You need to let yourself be controlled by me for the sake of your happiness. No. What's so good about Louis being ruled by a girl who looks middle aged? Oh, the horror. Don't give me that shit. Thank you. Thank you. you. You hit me. Even my own father never hit me. Oh, how dare you punch my face. With a hit it again. Demon. Yeah, I punched you. So freaking what? And the citizens of Louis aren't weak. They don't need your damn. Hit him again, Blan. You hurt the lady. We don't need you. So get to walking already. <sighs> you look really refreshed. <laughs> I feel pretty good after seeing all that. I guess it's my turn next. Watch me, Blani. Sisha? Hey, mm -hmm. are you all listening? My name is Sisha, and I'm the Gold Third, ruling over Louis. 
Because I was a coward, I let that idiot have mm -hmm. his way with Louis. And I sincerely apologize. This isn't your fault. You aren't responsible for Asna Lab's own stupidity. Even maybe. Still, I'm maybe not. I'm the leader, yet I neglected my duty and became a hunter, wandering around the nation. To be fair, if I had been more you're more useful than a certain um, purple-haired CPU that we all know and love. So, I have a favor to ask all of you. I ask that you will accept me as your leader. What? Accept you? You mm. are Louise Gold Third? I know that she rarely shows herself, but I never expected the leader to look like some kid. Nigel Uno, is that you? I know that I'm not very reliable, but I love Louis. So or, please, let me or, the nation I love. Blood. I guess they won't accept me after all. Of course, it wouldn't be so convenient. I think it sounds all right with me. Ah. I'm fine with it too. Anyone who boldly loves Louis is a good person in my book. You risked your life to protect this city. Uh. I can leave this nation to someone like you. Oh, that's Umios. Really okay. They're saying it's fine, so it's fine, isn't it? Unless you want to relinquish yeah. ownership to the proper person. What are you doing? They're all right with leaving things to you, so. Right. I may be a little unreliable, and I can get lazy at times, but I'll do my best for Louis. So let's all make this place into a wonderful nation. Yeah. <laughs> Is this okay, blonde? It's fine for now. I don't want to destroy this piece by trying to force them to yeah. wander. Louis has to make some changes for it to rise above this dystopia it's been in for a while. Mm -hmm. It's best to let Sisha run things right now. What are you doing over there? Hey, God damn it. Come over here. Mm -hmm. Hey, don't pull me like that. <laughs> You're the star here, not me. You and I are both stars. Hey, so... <laughs> I was thinking about having you be a secretary at the Basilicom. Are you just deciding my job without permission? I yeah. thought you were over that. I'm not doing it. Oh, come on. We're a pair. We're in this together. Mm, nope. That's separate from what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. It's better for someone who understands the situation to do it. Besides, this is an order from the omnipotent Gold Third. Hey, don't start talking like that, you jackass. That's freaking <laughs> low and dirty. Lady Blonde and Lady Sisha really get along. <laughs> Don't joke with me, Sisha. Let me go! It's quite the happily ever after. So yep. that's one side down. Uh -huh. It ain't happy at all! Just like Blonde said, nothing's happy at all. This is just the beginning, in reality. Now, Sisha, mm -hmm. it's time to awaken as a vessel. <sighs> Sisha, what's wrong? <laughs> That's right. Yep. I had completely forgotten about this. Guess it won't let things end peacefully. You suppress the delusionary power too much. Hmm. To think your actions to protect this nation's people would backfire like this. I don't know who you are. Are you the mastermind? All you Probably. need to know is that I'm taking control of your body. I'm looking forward to what this golden power of yours is like. So that's your objective. There are things I need to do. I won't let you. Sorry, mm -hmm. Blani, but I have business that I need to take care of. Can you wait for me a little bit? Can you? <sighs> huh? Sisha, where are you going? Go after her, god damn it. All right, let's see what's the latest. Gathered several eyewitness reports that Seashaw has gone into the Golden Summit. Gold Summit? A golden Tower? Yes, but the entrance to the tower is supposedly unopenable. How would you go there? Maybe it's because Seashaw is part of the Gold Third. Maybe it's the same gold color, though. It might be related in some way. All right, then. Let's head to the Golden Summit. Let's go. Looks like we'll be going to the Golden Summit. Thank you, Lady Blonde. I have a very bad feeling. What a coincidence. So do I. Oh, this feeling is just my imagination. No. Of course it's not. Steamax! Looks like all the residents of this mansion are out. Just as the general's information said. I search to go smoothly then. Now, let's see. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Oh, this is a pocket monstrosity fan. 
fanzine that was distributed at a con year ago. But it was pressured by a certain Louisian manufacturer to stop. If I remember, no humans appeared within. And it had the plot of monstrosities grappling it out in very suggestive pro wrestling matches. To think, Louise revolutionaries were furries. I suppose such a long standing genre fans in all sorts of places. Whoops! Cannot do this now. I have a direct command from the general to fulfill. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Oh? Stowed in the locked cabinet is a photo of Louise CPU candidates. And this angel. No matter how you look. These seem to be secret angle. These seem to be secretly taken. If it was a magazine of busty blondes, I would take it. But for the world and humanity's sake, I should burn this. Hmm? Is this disc of a midwinter's afternoon daydream? Is it a legendary film that was number one most searched video on Neptune for several years? I believe the content was about a senior in a swim club inviting a junior to his apartment roof where an explosive romance occurs. They're even covered in this genre, as expected of a revolutionary, he's even revolutionized his tastes. Incredible. Hmm? Fashion is a treasure trope. I can't help but interrupt my investigation. Steve X, you're a good dude. Very honest with yourself. But I will end this video here. So thank you, everybody, for watching. If you have anything you want to say, make stories on the comments below. And thank you for staying weird.